This is a video about putting a matrix in reduced row echelon form using the TI-84 calculator. It works the same way on the TI-83. So here's a 3 by 4 matrix here that we're going to put into the calculator and reduce. So we turn the calculator on and we hit the second function button and X to the minus one to get into the matrix menu. You use the arrow key to go over to the edit menu. And then you see you've got a selection of matrices here you can choose from. I'm just gonna choose the first one, number one. So I hit enter. Now A is a one by one matrix, but we want a three by four here. So I'm gonna say three, enter, four, enter, and that's going to give me a 3 by 4 matrix full of zeros. So now we just go ahead and put these numbers in uh, across each row, row by row. So we've got 1, minus 5, 4, minus 3. That's the first row. Notice a couple things. First of all, I use this white button down here for negative numbers, not this gray negative uh, button, which is for the operation of subtraction. You need to use the white one if you want to enter a negative number. Also, after I entered the first row, the cursor jumped down to the first entry on the second row, which is convenient. So now I just go over here and do the second row. 2 minus 7 3 minus two, and I'm hitting enter, of course, after each number. Then it hops down to the third row, so I put in this third row here, minus two, one, seven, minus one. So I like to double check that I got the numbers in correctly, so since I entered them in as rows, I like to double check the columns. So the last column should be minus three, minus two, minus one, and I can see I've got minus three, minus two, minus one, the next one, four, three, seven, et cetera. So I'll skip that step. You double check that you've got them all incorrectly. And if you made a mistake somewhere, just use these arrow buttons, move it around and move the cursor onto the number you want to change and just uh, type a new number. All right, so once the matrix is entered, we need to quit the matrix mode. So we hit the second function button and then the mode button, the second function of the mode is quit, so second, quit. And now we go back to the matrix menu, so second, uh, x to the minus one, or matrix again. Now we go to the math menu, we hit the right arrow to the math menu, and then you can scroll down, but it's quicker to scroll up. So I'm a lazy mathematician, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, up to this function RREF, be careful that you don't do REF, that's gonna do something different. We want RREF, which is reduced row echelon form. So we press enter. And we go back to the matrix menu, second, x to the minus one. We have to tell it which matrix to reduce. So we can scroll up and down with the arrow buttons here, but we want matrix A. So we just highlight that one and press enter. You can close the parentheses here if you want. Doesn't matter either way. If you press enter, it will row reduce the matrix. <clears throat> and it doesn't fit all on the screen here, so we can see we've got uh, column 1, column 2, column 3 here, but this, remember, is a 3 by 4 matrix, so if we hit the right arrow, we can scroll to the right and we can see that last column. I want to do another quick example. I'm going to take this same matrix, and um, I added a couple rows here, so this was a 3 by 4. This one's going to be a 5 by 4, so I got 5 rows here and 4 columns. The reason I'm going to do this is because the calculator has a problem with these size matrices. So we'll go back to the matrix menu. We'll edit that same matrix since the first three rows here are the same as the first three rows here. I just need to add some more rows down here. So up here, I'll say instead of three by four, I want it to be a five by four. So I'm just going to overwrite that three with a five, five leave the four and nicely it keeps all the entries that were already in there and then it just adds two rows at the bottom with zeros in there as placeholders so i'm just going to go down to the fourth row 
and enter the numbers I've got here. So 0, 3, minus 1, 0. Uh, if, there, if there's already a 0 here, I can enter the 0 button here and then hit enter, but it's quicker to just hit the right arrow. So there's already a 0 there. I don't need to overwrite it. I just hit the right arrow. And then uh, I put in the 3, minus 1, 3, enter, minus 1, enter. There's already a zero there, so I just hop down and go to the next row. And then I've got one, zero, two, three. So one, enter, right button, two, enter, three, enter. Okay, so now when we quit and go back to the matrix menu over to the math menu and up to RREF, and then say second matrix, and we want to choose matrix A, which is already highlighted, so we just press enter. And I won't close the bracket there this time just to show it. It'll still work. <clears throat> but when it evaluates, it says there's an invalid dimension. And uh, this happens on, this has happened on every TI-83 and 84 calculator I've used, but it may be dependent on the operating system. So you may have a newer version and it might not do this, but um, when this happens, uh, the matrix has more rows than columns. So up here, we had more columns and rows, that's fine. If the number of rows and columns are equal, that's also fine. But if you try to row reduce a matrix that has more rows than columns, like this has five rows and only four columns, it'll give you this dimension error. So what we need to do is trick the calculator to row reduce this for us by adding uh, another row, uh, sorry, another column, to make it a five by five matrix, and then it will row reduce no problem. But we have to trick it so that the row reduce form of that five by five matrix is the same as the row reduce form of this five by four. And I won't go into the linear algebra reasons uh, why this works for now. Uh, but if you add a column of all zeros here at the end, when it gets row reduced, um, the, the zeros will still be zeros on the last column, and then these first four columns um, will be row reduced as if the zeros weren't there. Okay, so we quit and go back to the matrix menu. So we're gonna go back to the edit menu and edit A. And now um, I'm gonna skip over the five and I wanna change the dimension from five by four to five by five. So I just overwrite the five there and hit enter. And now the really cool thing is the calculator automatically put in a column of zeros for me. It added a column because I told it now that it's got five columns, and the zeros by default are the placeholders, which is exactly what I want. So I don't even have to edit this. I can just quit now. Second, quit, and then back to the matrix. Math, up to RREF. Second, matrix, uh, enter for A. And now it will row reduce for me, and I just ignore this last column of zeros. So the first uh, four columns here and all five rows are the reduced row echelon form of this five by four matrix.